The site calculator helps you determine how many lots you can fit on your site. Before using the site calculator, a little preparation is required. First, we must create a track that represents our site. In my example here, the blue tract is the parcel that I wish to develop. Next, we need to draw the non-buildable areas such as roadways, wetlands, lakes, parks, and so on. Each of these areas must be drawn using the track command. Here in my drawing, you can see that I've already drawn my road. Let's add a wetland area right here. And let's put in a park right here. Now we're ready for the site calculator. To start the site calculator, select the Tools menu, and then Site Calculator. The first prompt at the bottom of the screen asks us to select the parcel that we wish to subdivide. So I'll click on our main parcel here. Now if my site was made up of several parcels, I would go ahead and click them as well. Underneath the prompt here, it tells me to press enter when I'm done. In this case, I only have this one parcel, so I'll go ahead and press enter. Now the program prompts me to select the parcels to exclude. These are the non-buildable areas that we created a few minutes ago, and again, these must be created as tracked objects. And when I'm done, I simply press Enter. The final step is to enter the size that you want your lots to be. This must be entered as acres, so for this example, I want my lots to be a half acre in size, so I'll enter 0 0.5. And there's our site breakdown. It shows us that our total site area is 3 acres, along with the square footage. Our non-buildable area is 0.8 acres, and our buildable area is 2.2 acres. Next, it shows our desired lot size and the maximum number of lots that will fit. It's important to note that this is a best case value. If your parcel is broken up into odd shapes by a meandering roadway or other obstacles, you may not be able to achieve the optimal number of lots shown here. If your site faces these types of challenges, you can try breaking the site down into smaller, more manageable, and more uniform parcels and using the site calculator on each of these smaller parcels instead of on the overall site. And on the right, the site calculator shows us a pie chart of the buildable and non-buildable portions of the site. At this point, you can use the site calculator to fine-tune your design using these buttons here. Let's say you want to try making the lots a little larger. Click the Change Lot Size button and enter a new lot size. And here's the result, 3.7 lots instead of 4.5. You can also do the reverse. That is, you can enter the number of lots you want And the site calculator will tell you the lot size to achieve this number, in this case, 0.4 acres. Now, let me show you one more example. In this example, we have a strip of land on the north side of the road that really isn't buildable because of its shape. When using the site calculator, you need to watch for these types of situations and mark them as non-buildable areas. 
To create a non-buildable area, simply draw a boundary around it using the track command. Now, when we use the site calculator, we'll incorporate this area into the calculations as part of the non-buildable area and arrive at a better result. And there we are.